What shall we say then? Should we keep on sinning so that God's grace can increase? Not at all. As far as sin is concerned, we are dead. So how can we keep on sinning? All of us were baptized into Christ Jesus. Don't you know that we are baptized into his death? By being baptized, we were buried with Christ into his death. Christ has been raised from the dead by the Father's glory. And like Christ, we also can live a new life. By being baptized, we have been joined with him in a death like his. So we will certainly also be joined with him in a resurrection like his. We know that what we used to be was nailed to the cross with him. That happened so our bodies that were ruled by sin would lose their power. So we are no longer slaves of sin. That's because those who have died have been set free from sin. We died with Christ, so we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ was raised from the dead and we will, and will never die again. Death doesn't control him anymore. When he died, he died once and for all time. He did this to break the power of sin. Now that he lives, he lives in the power of God. In the same way, consider yourselves to be dead as far as sin is concerned. Now you believe in Christ Jesus. So consider yourselves to be alive as far as God is concerned. So don't let sin rule your body, which is going to die. Don't obey its evil desires. Don't give any part of yourself to sin. Don't let any part of yourself be used to do evil. Instead, give yourselves to God. You have been brought from death to life, so give every part of yourself to God to do what is right. Sin will no longer control you like a master. That's because the law does not rule you. God's grace has set you free. What should we say then? Should we sin because we are not ruled by the law but by God's grace? Not at all. Don't you know that when you give yourselves to obey someone, you will become that, that person's slave? If you are slaves of sin, then you will die. But if you are slaves who obey God, then you will live a godly life. You used to be slaves of sin, but thank God that you, with your whole heart you obey the teachings you were given. You have been set free from sin. You have become slaves to right living. Because you are human, you find this hard to understand. So I am using an everyday example to help you understand. You used to give yourselves to be slaves to unclean things. You are becoming more and more evil. Now give yourselves to be slaves to right living. Then you will become holy. Once you were slaves of sin, at that time right living did not control you. What benefit did you gain from doing the things you are now ashamed of? Those things lead to death. You have been set free from sin. God has made you his slaves. The benefit you gain leads to holy living, and the end result is eternal life. When you sin, the pay you get is death, but God gives you the, the gift of eternal life. That's because of what Christ Jesus our Lord has done.